Senator Leila de Lima today dared President Rodrigo Duterte to have her arrested immediately for her alleged involvement in illegal drugs. In a press conference at the Senate, a very emotional de Lima also lashed out at her critics for insinuating that she was behind the NBP riot that resulted in one inmate killed and three others wounded. She reiterated her innocence on the allegations. Marita Mwahe reports. Sila ang nagigipit sa akin. Masyado nalila ako. Ginigipit. Hinaapi. Tapos ganyan pag gagawin nila. Lahat na lang sinisisi sa akin. And they call themselves men. A furious Senator Leila de Lima faced the media this morning to air her sentiments on the alleged issues being thrown against her. The mere action of President Rodrigo Duterte apologizing to some of those he named proves that his so-called narco list is questionable and that it is very tragic that the president himself is receiving and sending out wrong information. According to De Lima, she has A1 sources who inform her that these high-profile inmates like J.B. Sebastian are being threatened to testify against her. In your desperation, Rulo, para siraan niyo ako, hindi niyo na iniisip kung ano na yung nagiging itsura niyo sa mata ng the senator claims that the so-called riot incident which happened at the NBP is the administration's way of sending a message to those inmates who refuse to lie and take the government side. In front of all this chaos, the lady senator says that she will stand her ground and will face her adversaries. Why should I do that? I want to fight here in my country! Hindi pa ako tuwag! Dahil wala pa ako kasalanan. Yung mga nagtatago laman. At saka yung mga walang mga ano, mga duwag. Dilima even dared the administrator to just jail her. For PTV News, Marita Moahe. Meanwhile, President Duterte downplayed the outburst of Senator De Lima, advising her instead to take a break. The president stressed that he was the one oppressed by De Lima since he was Davao City Mayor. More details from Sweden, Volado. President Duterte advised Senator Leila De Lima to take a leave first amid all controversies she is facing for alleged involvement in proliferation of illegal drug trade inside the new Belibet prison. If she continues uh, yucking there and listening to she will have a nervous breakdown. The president announced this before he left for Vietnam. He said it was De Lima who attacked him first when she threw tirades against him for violating human rights due to extrajudicial killings. She talked about me harping on extrajudicial killing. And yet, to that date, no case is filed. I was investigated once by the rapport, uh, Philip Alston, and she was to have me investigated again by the UN through a new. The president, on the other hand, apologized again to Pampanga Governor Amado Espino Jr., board member Raul Sison, and former provincial administrator Rafael Baraan, whose names were mistakenly included in the narco list. But the president clarified that he is not sorry for the involvement of Espino and Baraan in smuggling of metallic black sand. It is my duty to tell the, the nation what's happening. But it, it, it is also my duty that if I commit wrong, I should apologize. That is the way to go in this world. See, Spino, it has nothing to do with drugs, but he's also facing a charge 
in this andigan same smuggling of black sand. According to President Duterte, he will release a new narco list when he returns from Vietnam. It includes names of judges, congressmen, mayors, barangay captains, police officials, and one to two personalities from the side of military. Meanwhile, in an ambush interview, Senator De Lima previously asked the president if he likes her because of putting her under fire, especially in the House hearing. But the president only responded. She was asking, sir, kung may gusto daw po ba kayo sa kanya. <laughs> For the PTV News, Sweden, Velado. May panibagong ebidensya umano ang uh, Department of Justice laban kay uh, Senadora Laila Delima sa susunod na pagdinig ng kamera sa operasyon ng ilegal na droga sa Bilibid. Ayon kay Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre, hindi isiniwalat noong Justice Secretary pa lamang si Delima ang tunay na halaga ng perang nasa bat sa ikinasang raid sa loob ng Bilibid noong taong 2014. Bukod pa rito, pinag-iisipan din umano ng kalihim na gamitin bilang ebidensya ang umano'y sex video ni Delima at ng dati nitong driver na si Ronnie Dayan para patunayang malapit si Delimas kay Dayan na sinasabing kolektor ng drug money sa NBP. Ang detalye sa ulat ni Ria Fernandez. Hinamo ni Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre II si Senadora Laila Delima na patunayan ang kanyang mga aligasyon. Sa kanyang statement, sinabi ni Delima na ang mga ipinepresentang ebidensya ng Department of Justice laban sa kanya ay peke tulad ng piluka ni Aguirre. Abusan na ata ng katuwiran si Secretary Delima. Alam mo, Senator, Secretary Delima, alam na alam mo yan. Eh. He alleges must prove. Inalage mong fake yung aming mga witness. Nasaan ang proof mo? Nothing. Nada. Sinabi ni Aguirre na may panibago silang ebidensya sa ikatlong pagdinig ng kamera ukol sa drug trade sa Bilibid sa susunod na linggo na mas magdidiin pa kay Delima. Base umano sa impormasyong nakuha ng DOJ sa ahente ng pamahalaan at sa isang inmate, hindi ideneklara ng mga otoridad ang tunay na halaga ng perang nasa bat sa ikinasang raid ni dating Justice Secretary Delima sa Bilibid noong December 15, 2014. Ang sinabi lang sa dyaryo, 1,600,000 lang ang parang more or less na nakuha nila. But in reality, sabi ng testigo, mahigit po niya yan ng 300 million. Nagbabala naman si Aguirre na posible nilang gamitin sa korte laban kay Dilima ang tatlong sex video umano nila ng kanyang dating driver na si Ronnie Dayan kung itatanggi nila ang kanilang relasyon. Maliban dito, maari rin daw ipalabas sa mga ito sa isang executive session sa kamera kung nanaisi ng mga mambabatas. Sir, anong significance kung i-admit yung relationship? Malaki ang significance. Uh, mag explain yun why. Ronnie Dayan was so powerful. Why Ronnie Dayan was able to uh, extract monies from the uh, drug lords? Why Ronnie Dayan was able to uh, uh, get monies from the drug lords? So, malaki malaki yun. Because an ordinary driver could not do it. Bukas ang DOJ ngayon na ilagay sa ilalim ng Witness Protection Program o WPP si Dayan kung makikipagtulungan ito sa investigasyon. As a matter of fact, we are looking for him and we are inviting him or I am inviting him na sana umupir siya sa Congress. Sabihin niya yung totoo doon. Para sa PTV News, Ria Fernandez. Ako po si Cathy San Gabriel. Subscribe na sa PTV YouTube channel. I-click lang po ang subscribe button.